I just learned something brand new in Photoscape X and it came from a question that was asked by one of my subscribers. So let's begin and let me share with you this secret that I found in Photoscape X. So um, Photoscape X is a software that I've used for so long that I felt that, hey, I've really learned almost everything in there. But then a simple question being asked by somebody uh, on YouTube sparked my interest and I found something brand new. So let me tell you what his question was. His question was, hey, when I'm in the editor and let's say he's finished editing an image completely done and he's like, what is the next image that I'm going to edit? Well, he's like, hey, I just looked at these different thumbnails here in the bottom left hand corner. He's like, hey, maybe I want this one. And then you can drop it in and you can start working on it. But the thing is that how are you able to tell just by looking at some of these different thumbnails of like, oh, which one's the one where I did that or which one's the one where this person's smiling or different things. The thing is that it's going to be challenging to see exactly what's going on if these thumbnails are that small. So he's like, well, what should I do? And my first thought was, oh, well, simple. Here's what you should be doing. You should be in your in the viewer over here and you should be looking over here because then you can actually view them and flip between them and even show side by side of two different images that might be very similar, but you could like uh, hit control and zoom in and like see how the text or how different things line up. So that's what I thought originally. But then the question is, so is there a way to make the thumbnails over here actually larger to the place where you're actually able to see them and distinguish which ones are which? Well, actually you can, and I was very surprised. So basically what you'll want to do, uh, you got all these thumbnails over here. You'll want to scroll down to the bottom where there's an open space and you'll want to right click. What this does is it opens up uh, a place where you're able to go to flag. So you can look at some different things over here. Um, and this would be kind of jumping to different sections or things like that. Most of that is stuff that's up here uh, in folders, favorites, both stuff like that. But the more interesting one is down here where it says settings. You click this and you open up this window that I've never seen in Photoscape X before. Very interesting. So it shows that right now how it's organized is by name, A to Z, you know, one, two, nine, uh, however that would be. So you have that, but then you also have this stuff down here, uh, which you could click over here and it changes the background, which I think is really kind of interesting. So you can kind of flip through here and get some kind of a background that might be helpful for you. So you can figure out what works nicely, but what's cool is that you can make it something more than just what it's always been. So there's a little bit of customization there. So I think that's really cool. Um, so like maybe you do this one where it's this gray and it turns to black onto the side. Pretty neat. But then you have this slider down here. This slider is super clutch. What you can do is you can slide it to make these thumbnails smaller or to increase the size of these thumbnails to the place where you can get it to be one per uh, per slide. So basically then you could uh, ah, well, okay, okay. Maybe I take back my statement. I take back my statement a little bit. Basically, basically to the point where these thumbnails are much bigger. Because before they were like this, where you'd have, even if you increase this window out, you would still would end up with about the same size. You would crunch it where you have like three to a row. It's like you still can't really tell. If you're working in such a way that you really want to be able to just grab the next one, you can make it so it's two or even one. And based on how big you can make them right around here, it looks pretty good. You could really take a closer look and be like, okay, I want the one like this. And like, this might be not the, might not be the best example because some of these are where I'm taking four or five pictures of the exact same thing. Um, but if it is something where it's like, oh yeah, here's that wedding picture of this. And then we did that. And then we did that. You could go through and edit a lot quicker. If you want to use these thumbnails, that's a super big key that you've got to know about just right clicking and then going over to the settings and adjusting that stuff makes it so much easier. So that's super huge. Now, now a question would be, is this available in other panels? Like, okay, you right click over here. You're like, eh, it doesn't look like it doesn't look like it's available in other panels, or at least that panel right click over here. This is looking more at just the editor. Maybe if we close out of the editor, 
Mm, nope, doesn't look like anything for the background there. Um, let's see, there's this background button over here. So let's say we hop into here, background. You can kind of click this to give you a bit of a change. So it ends up with this lighter background, which could be helpful depending on what kind of workflow you're doing. Um, I could definitely see that being helpful at times. Uh, let's see, we got over here, save project, different stuff. I'm trying to find out if there's other types of ways that you're able to customize parts of the interface. So we've got this stuff, that stuff looks all normal. Maybe right clicking over here. Oh, there is a settings tab in here. Ooh, check this out, you guys. Now, here's the thing. There is a slider right here, which you're able to adjust the size of your thumbnails. So, and you have this here, and you even have this settings button here, where you could fill. Uh, oh, wow, you could do it so it fills it. So it's actually, instead of showing like the exact like image, like this one, instead of that, they say, hey, what if you set it up where you say fill? So then it zooms it in so it fills the entire section and it makes the thumbnail a bit bigger. So depending on what you're doing, if you have to see the edges of everything and see how it was shot in its orientation, it might not be the best, but that could be really helpful. Show a uh, GPS badge, tilt. You could have them all tilted. That's like super random. Why in the world would they do that? But if you wanted to do it like that, maybe that's your style. Spacing, you can make it so there is no spacing. Um, what does that look like? Yeah, no spacing, that's pretty neat. Um, transition effect. Oh, like you have like dissolvent stuff. Okay, slideshow, normal, slow, fast, okay. But then once again, you can go back to that background and you can give it that kind of background look, whatever you'd like to put on there. I think that's cool. I really actually like this one at the bottom left there. So that's really neat. Um, but yeah, some other customization stuff that I didn't know was in here, which I think ends up being really actually helpful. Uh, let's see, combine, collage, create GIF, print. Yeah. Yeah, but nonetheless, you guys, this actually was a really cool find uh, in Photoscape X. I don't believe it was like a recent update or something. I think it's just something where I didn't ever know this thing existed. But yeah, definitely check out it where you go over to here, the settings. It's even down here, like check this out. It's just this settings button right here. Just this toggle uh, settings button. That's how you get to it. That's actually an even simpler way. So then you don't have to try like right click in between a photo or something. Very cool. Um, but yeah, I'm super pumped. Like if I select this and I hit star, does it star it? Eh, okay, fine. It doesn't really. That would just kind of put it there. But yeah, I hope this was helpful for you guys to be able to check this out. This little secret that I found in Photoscape X, I think can boost your productivity, especially looking at the customization that's available in the viewer. This could really help you to be able to get uh, work done faster. And I think that's at the end of the day, what we're trying to do work better, smarter, faster, um, and yeah, I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.